Hey, what's up? Uh, this is your boy Rich, or some people know me as Bam. Uh, I like to talk about some a die that I was kind of switching back and forth between. Uh, it's 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 something that I was doing a long time ago. I was doing a vegan diet, and I I mean I was in great shape. I mean I was ripped. My stamina was was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I, I never got tired, uh, and I was diagnosed with uh, exercise-induced asthma when I tried track, um, and um, basically, I stopped doing it because uh, my body, my joints were getting real sore, uh, but I, I was overworking out. That was the problem, and the more that I study medicine, I've been a little bit about myself. Uh, I always wanted to do martial arts and medicine for the people that don't know, uh, so... When I got into martial arts, it was you know something that that encouraged me by by with Bruce Lee, uh, Michael Jai White, uh, another couple mentors of mine were uh, was uh, Stephen Ray, Master Ray. He was one of the first people I heard talk about going on a vegetarian diet sometimes. Uh, so he really installed that into me a little bit as a, as a child or as a teen, or a teen turned into a uh, transitioning into adult, uh, and then I actually met. Uh, another mentor, uh, Jermaine Andre, who really got me into working out. First, he was scary, scary, still a little scary. Uh, Master Ray is scary uh, when you actually spar with him a bit, uh, for real spar with him. And even then, I don't think he was trying his best. But uh, Jermaine Andre, yeah, that guy's that guy's tough. Uh, but uh, even he noticed that my stamina was 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 up. Like, I would get there early, run three miles, and then after, when everybody else would get there, run another three miles. Uh, and then before that, I might have ran 13 miles before that because I wasn't, I didn't even have a car. Like, so sometimes in a day, I was accumulating 21 miles in a day uh, easily. And then I would go back home and train some more and hit some weights. So it was, it was overdoing it, overdoing it a lot. And then not mentioning, you know, the, 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 the pounding from, from, from sparring. Uh, of course I'm gonna be sore uh, so I went back to to eat meat and went back to consuming milk and you know got built up a little bit more muscles got some more weight on me at the time I was like 155 but then some strange happened when I got in the medical field I got diagnosed with pre-diabetes uh, I was constantly sick and I thought it was maybe this is the injections that I'm getting from the medical field and it's like constantly losing them losing my records and constantly getting all these these flu shots and hepatitis shots and that's that's not the case it's i'm not meant to eat meat the more i look at my ancestry the more i look at my own dna uh like i found out the national geographic that i'm like one 1.5 or 1.9 percent neanderthal uh they didn't have a diet of meat all the time that doesn't make any sense and then when you look at african cultures they mainly consume rice you know they might eat rice fish sometimes and some veggies I'm not even trying to consume fish. My whole point of bringing this up is my whole household, we, we've been sick for quite a long time with my kids, uh, my, my, my wife, and I think I need to take the step into actually uh, fixing my diet and then encouraging other people in my household to change up the diet a bit when they're sick by being an example. Um, you can kind of tell in my voice a little bit I got some mucus and a little bit of cold. And I wasn't like that at first. When I was on my vegan diet, I was very healthy. So what I believe I'm going to do and stick to, actually this time, because I did that quite a bit, I was like, I'm going to go back to a vegan lifestyle. I'll never, never go back. And and, and I did. Because I was like, meat. You know, it's because I'm cooking. I was cooking my kids' meals. I was cooking my wife's meals. I'm, I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to at least stay on a vegan diet for at least three months, four months, six months before I store back even cooking meat for anybody else because I don't think that's going to help encourage my diet or my health. Um, I can't keep calling off for work. Um, I just started a new job in the medical field. I don't plan on calling off work for being sick with that. Uh, I was working another part-time job and I actually was legitimately sick, throwing up, running a fever. 
Uh, I had another job prior to that where I was exposed to the heat a lot and my temperature was constantly like 103, 102, and it was doing that for a whole week. Just throwing up, feeling sick, feeling horrible, having mucus, and I, I think it's it's because of the diet. I'm, I'm switching to a vegan diet because I feel like that's what's meant for me. I never got sick like this before when I was on a vegan diet. I never got sick. Never. Especially if I consumed my veggies and my fruits like I'm supposed to. Like, I, I mainly, I'm a type of person that grazes a lot. Um, and if I'm eating meat, it's kind of hard to just graze because I'm full. But, like, I want something else and I really don't need something else. Um, I got my little garden outside, my little tomatoes, kale. My corn didn't do too good, but I'll try it again. I got pumpkin, watermelon, um, cucumbers. I got tons of stuff outside. I don't need to consume meat. Uh, my, we got carrots. Uh, hopefully, I'll pick up a check tomorrow from one of the part-time jobs I had. Uh, I think they're kind of salty on me because I was sick and I started working this other job. But I got to do what's best for me and my family. Um, so no hard feelings uh but i'm gonna go and buy some vegetables and some fruits and i'm gonna stick to that diet i'm gonna you know i'll still i'll still buy meat for my family i'm just not cooking it for them i don't think that's gonna help me um stick to this diet um you know it's i don't think it's meant for me uh I notice even my dogs, this is really weird, my dogs will eat my vegetables sometimes in my garden. You would think they would go after a bird or something, right, because they're normally carnivores. Now they really eat a cucumber. It's weird. But, um, I mean, I, I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to go back to my diet, get my health together, get my mind right, continue to go to school. Uh, I gave up on that, too. I, I was like, I'm going to be a doctor. And I, I saw how the, the hell doctors were going through. And I was like, no, no, mm -mm, I don't want to be a doctor. But then I see some doctors that are in physician assistants that I know more than half of them. It's crazy. One doctor didn't know what a stoma was today. You're a physician assistant. You don't know what a stoma is? But you're going to tell people about, like, diets and nutrition and, yeah, you know. So a lot of these, a lot of people... Uh, I posted a little video earlier about this guy named Dr. Mills, it, and a lot of this stuff is is racially biased, I'm noticing, as towards what, what people are telling me my diet is. You know, when I found out exactly what parts and areas I'm from, I knew I was African, but I didn't know exactly what parts. And when I see what the type of foods and foods they, foods they grow there and what they live off of and, uh, and how they look, you know, I, I look like the people from the Congo area. And... You know, it's really funny because uh, one of my favorite animals is a silverback gorilla. And that's those are there in the Congo. And that's that is that is most like that is how I eat. That is exactly how I eat. I eat a lot of vegetables, a lot, even even now. But I want to consume nothing but vegetables. I'm not a huge fan of bananas, uh, but I'll eat them. They're all right kind of weird sometimes to me but I love my veggies I love my salads I love my tomatoes I can get tomato raw easily so um peanuts cashews for those probably people right now I'm gonna get my protein in mega threes and fatty acids I got my little elixirs and concoctions for some of the guys that um did MMA with me and they still continue to do it you know I'm not gonna say any people's names uh, but they saw the little concoctions I would bring in with my little spirulina and my little mix I would mix together and take it before class and I used to have like a little scar and I would put it on my face and it would help it scab over uh, quicker uh, so uh, I'm gonna go back to those that routine and stay healthy uh, and I'm gonna stay blessed and the goal is to motivate other people to to find their own path, not to be like vegan diet's the best, vegetarian diet's the best. No, find your own path. Follow who you are. Bruce Lee always said, "Don't find a successful personality and try to duplicate it." There's that's you're not going to be successful doing that. Be you. Do you. All right.